ChatGPT, ChatGPT, AI, AI, the ChatGPT hype is over. Now watch how Google will kill ChatGPT. It's happening. OpenAI is losing the AI race. Remember those days when ChatGPT was everyone's topic of conversation? Yeah, you do. Remember those days when Be Real was everywhere? Of course you do. What about the days when Vine was the most trending app? Uh, maybe? What about when Yik Yak was everyone's app? Yik what? Go back to high school. There's always that popular girl in school for a few years. Ten years later, you'll probably say, gosh, I haven't even heard that name for years. There are no hypes that last forever. Every single business or venture will decline one day or another. Yes, WhatsApp won't be used forever. Apple is going to be historical. Teslas are going to be sold as antiques. This is the product life cycle from Harvard Business Review. On one hand, if you're working on a product, hype is what you're looking for. On the other hand, you will have an enormous challenge dealing with after that, the post hype. I've written an article analyzing how Google Bard will destroy ChatGPT because it's a long term game and Google has the upper hand in terms of market dominance. ChatGPT has a better product, but that doesn't mean they're going to win the long race. It was quite the trending article, reaching 178,000 people. There were quite mixed emotions towards it. Some agreed that Google had the upper hand. Others thought that ChatGPT has had what many call the first mover's advantage. So let's back up. What did Google do in the AI race? They rushed to create Bard, and it was and still is not comparable to ChatGPT. I've used both of them many times. They're similar, but if I had to choose, I would choose ChatGPT at the moment. It's much better in terms of quality. But Google has a competitive edge that can't be compared to anything. They have a database of information that just that is enormous. They're not utilizing this data very much at the moment, especially with a product like Bard. But in time, they're going to have to do that because ChatGPT is threatening their search engine, which brought in last year $224 billion. So why did they launch Bard at all? Bard, in my opinion, was a perfectly launched strategic product. It was more of a strong gesture to investors out there who invest in Google. Google wanted to clarify that they're heavily invested in the AI race and not taking it as a game, but taking it as something serious. But a true good product is never rushed. Now the hype is almost over and they're starting the real work. They're working on something called Gemini AI, which is supposedly as good as GPT-4. The freakout and the red alert has kind of passed. But aside from Gemini, they didn't only focus on one sector. They also focused on the educational sector by creating Notebook LM, an AI notebook used in the educational sector. That, in my opinion, is an ed tech game changer. So focusing on education is a very smart approach as well. This is how the search trends for JetGPT and Bard were looking like in the past year. Bard was almost non-existent, but you can notice that ChatGPT is starting to decline overall. On the other hand, what did OpenAI do about this? They developed an amazing product, ChatGPT, and then once the hype was almost over, they started serving enterprises by creating an enterprise product so that companies would be able to access ChatGPT and pay for it in a better way. A company can create a revolutionary product like JetGPT, but who wins in the AI race is the person who is mostly experienced. Google knows that tackling the educational sector and working on the masses of people is the smart approach. JetGPT, on the other hand, or OpenAI, are just a startup that are not as experienced as Google, and that's why they're now trying to target enterprises to get more clients in the B2B area. But in the long race, Google wins by miles, especially with their unique selling point of their market reach at the moment, which is not to be compared with any other market reach ever. Professors had a big problem when ChatGPT was launching and they said that people started cheating. So what did ChatGPT or OpenAI do about this? They launched a text classifier, which tells the world whether the text is an AI written text or not. But then just a few months later, 
They stopped working on the AI classifier and made it unavailable because it was not accurate. The educational sector is one that builds up generations in the future. If students start to get used to a product by Google that has to do with AI, then they are going to keep doing that. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is just right now at the moment for students a way to cheat in tests and in exams, which is not the best way to have a product in the long run. It's also quite a bold movement from OpenAI to start selling to business at, the, at this stage, but they might pull it off. Whether they hit it off or not, that does not change the fact that Google is now an official contender in the AI race. Their investors want them to succeed and they're buying more stocks. Their products are growing in demands as usual. Hence, even a product half as good as ChatGPT, Google will use that to emerge victorious in the long run. They have the resources, they have the money, and now they have the time.